many of the technologies that are familiar to us now have some significant moment in their history in World War I and in wartime, how wartime serves as a concentration of innovation and effort. Tim Shaw and I wanted to look at different kinds of issues, uh, different kinds of issues prompted by uh, World War I, and prompted by war in general, and the relationship between war time and peacetime. I'm a sound artist and musician based at Culture Lab uh, at Newcastle University, and we've been working, creating new contemporary work using historic archives. There's very uh, few actual sound recordings of World War I, so it's quite a kind of a mysterious um, and unknown what it actually sounded like. It's been really nice to sort of use that space where we don't necessarily know what things sounded like and, and using that as a space to reimagine things and to creatively respond to things. So over the last two days we've been um, making uh, work in response to World War I, uh, looking at technologies, stories, uh, and we've been using that sort of as an inspiration to build um, uh, artistic work uh, live uh, in, in the public, so with the public and in public. We made about, I think, about nine, ten, eleven different kinds of pieces. They're all kind of take as their point of departure uh, some item or artifact of uh, technological interest from uh, the World War I period. Today we're going to perform with those technologies all of the things we developed um, and some more things will sort of materialise into a, into a two-hour performance. How it sounded, the monstrous noise that the war made, that made a very, very striking experience for many of the soldiers. And in some ways we want to bring some of that experience back through our monstrous music uh, to give, just give an impression about the different kinds of sounds of war and try and uh, enable people to think about how it was as a sensory experience and how that contributed to the terror of war.